Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us, the question tells us that if the matrix A that has the entries 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 1 satisfies the equation and the equation which is given to us is A raised to 20 plus alpha A raised to 19 plus beta A equals 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is the entire matrix given to us and it says for some real numbers alpha and beta. So this equation is satisfied for some real numbers alpha and beta and the question further asks us to find out what is the value of beta minus alpha. So we have been asked to figure out the answer for this question of beta minus alpha. Let's figure out how to solve this type of questions. So if I first see here, I have to find a raised to 20 and a raised to 19 to put that in this entire equation. So first let's figure out what is a raised to 19 and what is a raised to 20 matrix. What are the elements in those particular matrices that we have? So I have a with me which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 1. So once I have matrix A, if I want to figure out matrix A square, I'll just multiply my two matrices A and A. So that gives me 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 1, multiplied with other matrix, which is again same. So once I have the two matrices to be multiplied, I can just figure out that. So 1 into 1, which is 1, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 3, 0. So you get 1. Next, 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 2, 0, 0 into 0, 0. So 0, 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into minus 1 again 0. So you get 0. Next, we get here is 0 into 1, 0, 2 into 0, 0, 0 into 3, 0. So 0, 0, 0. That is also 0. 0 into 0, 0, 2 into 2, 4, and 0 into 0 again is 0. So 0 plus 4 plus 0, which is 4. Again, you get 0, 0, and 0. So that third row with first column, so 3 into 1, 3. 0 into 0, you get that again 0, and minus 1 into 3, which is minus 3. So 3, 0, and minus 3. So 3 plus 0, 3, 3 minus 3 again, it turns out to become 0. First, then the third row and the second column. So 3 into 0, 0 into 2, minus 1 into 0. So it is 0. 3 into 0, 0 into 0, minus 1 into minus 1, which is basically plus 1. So you get 0 plus 0 plus plus 1. So you get this matrix A square as 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now let's figure out A cube. What does it become? So I can write a cube is nothing but square of a into matrix a. So if I multiply the two matrices, I have a square of a 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1 multiplied with a matrix a, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, minus 1. So from that multiplication, let's see what I get the matrix a cube as. So 1 into 1, 0 into 0, 0 into 3. So 1, 1 into 0, 0 into 2, 0 into 0, so 0. 1, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 0 minus 1, 0. So 0, 0 into 1, 0, 4 into 0, 0 into 3. So again, it's 0, 0 into 2, 4 into 2, which is 8, and 0 into 0, which is 0. So 0 plus 8 plus 0, that is 8. Then you have 0, 4 into 0, and 0 into minus 1. So again, 0. Next, you have 0 into 1, 0 into 0, 1 into 3, which is 3. Then you have 0 into 0, 0 into 2, and 1 into 0, which is again 0. And 0, 0, 1 into minus 1, which is minus 1. So now you have got a cube also. Let's find out a4 as well. So a cube into a, or I can also write that as a square into a square. So we can just multiply a square matrix two times. So if I multiply that, I have 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. 
one zero 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 four zero 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 one. So from that, if I figure out what I get, let's see. So if I multiply, I get one for the first. Next, if I multiply, everything turns out to become zero. Next, again, if I multiply, everything turns out to become zero because there is zero present everywhere. Now, second and the first, if I do zero into one, four into zero, zero into zero, again zero. 0 into 0, 4 into 4, which is 16. So you get 16. Next, if I do 0, 0, 0, so again 0. Third row, first column, 0, 0, 0, 0. Third row, second column, 0, 0, 0. And third row, third column, 0, 0, and 1, so 1. So now I have got four matrices with me. Let's Let's compare them and let's find out the pattern that is being followed. So I have a matrix with me, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, and 3, 0, minus 1. Then I also have my matrix A square with me, which was 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then I also have my matrix A cube with me, which was 1, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, and 3, 0, minus 1. And I also have A4 with me, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 16, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So I have this four matrices. Now, if I try to figure out the pattern, what I understand is when A is raised to any odd power, that is 1 or 3, for this type of matrices, so A raised to any odd power, I can see my matrix has 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 for the last also, and the last row becomes 3, 0, minus 1. And the middle element, which is there of the entire matrix, it is nothing but 2 raised to whatever is the power. So because here it is 2 raised to power, that is 1, so it is 2 raised to 1. 8, I can also write as 2 cube. So similarly, 2 raised to whatever is the odd power that is given to us, that becomes your middle element. And for the even power of A, if I see, Apart from the middle element, all the terms are same again. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the third row is changing in odd powers of A and even powers of A. And if you see the middle element, here 4 it is present, which is nothing but 2 raised to 2, which is nothing but the power of that matrix. 16 again, 2 raised to 4, which is again nothing but the power of that same matrix. So again, I can write that the middle element is still same. It is 2 raised to whatever is the power of that matrix. So that is the idea that we have to follow. Now, if I want to figure out for the equation, we know for the equation, we need to figure out a raised to 20 and a raised to 19. So if I figure out a raised to 20 and a raised to 19, let's see what I get. So same ways, if I do that, a raised to 19, 19 being an odd number, it will follow the properties of odd matrices. So one, zero, zero, 0, 2 raised to 19 and 0. And the third row is 3, 0, minus 1. And for the even power, that is a raised to 20, if I see, it becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 raised to power, which is 20, 0. And the last row also becomes 0, 0, 1. So we have this now with us. Let's put that in the equation that we have. So if I put that in the equation, which we had already, which was given to us, the left hand side, a raised to 20 plus alpha a raised to 19 plus beta a, let's figure out the left hand side first. So a raised to 20 plus alpha a raised to 19 plus beta a, that entire thing, let's see what it becomes. So you get 1, 0, 0, 2 raised to 20 here, 0. 0, 0, 1 plus alpha a raised to 19. So you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 2 raised to 19 and 0 and 3, 0, minus 1 plus beta. And I write my matrix A, which was 1, 0, 0. Then it was 0, 2, 0 and 3, 0, minus 1. So now if I add that, I get my final matrix as, let's see what I get. So 1 plus alpha plus beta for the first element, 
then if you see it is zero everywhere so it's going to be zero the next term is also going to become zero the fourth term is also going to become zero because everywhere you have zero next term if you see that is important 2 raised to 20 plus 2 raised to 19 with alpha and 2 beta then you again have 0 0 0 for the third row also the first element if you see it's zero this is 3 alpha this is 3 beta so 3 alpha plus 3 beta next you get here so for the first element only we have 3 alpha plus 3 beta not for the second one so 0 plus 3 alpha plus 3 beta so 3 alpha plus 3 beta is here not on the second element so you get this now if i figure out the second element that we have 0 plus 0 alpha plus 0 beta so again this is also 0 and the last one if i see it's 1 plus minus 1 alpha plus beta into minus 1 so 1 minus alpha minus beta so we have four elements apart from that the remaining five elements are basically zero there so i have this left hand side which is equal to 1 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 1 so let's equate that entire thing with that idea which is given to us so 1 plus alpha plus beta 0 0 0 0 and this was also 0 so the last row had 3 alpha plus 3 beta and this was 1 minus alpha minus beta and the middle element was 2 raised to 20 plus 2 raised to 19 alpha plus 2 beta so once I have this, that's everything included. Right hand side given to us was 1000400001. Zero, 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 one. So if I write that, 1000400001. Zero, 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 one. Now, if I equate this left hand sides and right hand sides terms, I can equate 3 alpha plus 3 beta equals 0 because that looks easy. So 3 into alpha plus beta is equal to 0. That gives me alpha plus beta 0. So that gives me alpha is minus beta. So I have got already one idea. Now further, if I try to solve this, I can also see that if I equate my middle term, because if I equate the first term, alpha plus beta plus one equals one. So alpha plus beta is again going to become zero. If you even equate this, you are still getting alpha plus beta equals to zero. So there's no point in equating this and this term. So if I equate the middle term now, which is given to us as two raised to 20 plus two raised to 19 alpha, plus 2 beta is equal to 4. So if I equate that now, let's see what I get. So 2 raised to 20 plus 2 raised to 19 alpha plus 2 beta. Beta is nothing but minus alpha from here. So if I put beta as minus alpha, this becomes minus 2 alpha equals 4. So if I further solve it, I get this as alpha common 2 raised to 19 minus 2 is equal to 4 minus 2 raised to 20. So from here, I get alpha equals to 4 minus 2 raised to 20 divided by 2 raised to 19 minus 2. Now, once I have this alpha, I can write that as 2 square minus 20, 2 raised to 20 divided by 2 raised to 19 minus 2. When it is minus 2, it's basically 1 here if nothing is given as the power. So if I take out two common from the denominator, I have 2 raised to 18 minus 1 common. From here, if I take out 2 square common, I have 1 minus 2 raised to 18. So if I want to make the bracket same, this gets cancelled with this. If I want to have the bracket same, I can just take minus sign out. It gives me 2 raised to 18 minus 1 divided by 2 raised to 18. This gets cancelled and you have a 2 also outside. So 2 here. So from here, you get alpha is minus 2. Once you have alpha with you, you can just find beta because it's minus alpha. So beta becomes minus alpha, which is minus of minus 2. And minus of minus 2, that basically gives me plus 2. So I have alpha with me. I have beta with me. So alpha minus 2 and beta is 2. Once I have both of them, I can just figure out beta minus alpha. So beta minus alpha, if you see, it becomes 2 minus minus 2. So 2 minus minus 2, which comes out to become 2 plus 2, which is 4. So if I see the answer for the question which is asked to us turns out to become 4. 
and since this was a fill in question you need to enter the answer in the box provided to you for the question which is asked to us so four becomes a correct answer here for the question which was given to us i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the multiplication property of matrices so you just needed to find the pattern once you figure out the pattern as we did for even and odd powers of the matrix a you can just solve the question and equate it according to the condition given that gave us the value of alpha and the value of beta that gave me further value of beta minus alpha which was turning out to become 4 i hope you have understood how to solve this i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos and share this videos with your friends also